The Word of God flows through us all of the time. It's flowing through us all of the time in all of its abundance and grace. Now, are we going to use it for ourselves? Are we going to use it for self-centeredness? Are we going to use it for selfishness? Let's not. We want to be happy. That other way is unhappiness. We want to be happy. And the nicest little thing we could do today, you could give somebody some encouragement and you could give them some hope. Just a nice little thing you could say. You could say, oh, your hair looks good today. Or there's something that I like about you. It's this. And another thing I like about you is that. And never use the voice or the words or all of that flow coming from the universe into you. Never use it to complain and never use it for anything negative. What did we say a long time ago about thinking? No negative thoughts, no second level thoughts, no trivial thoughts, and no ugly thoughts. It's that easy to be happy. It's just a matter of thinking right. A matter of discipline. Yeah. We give it to others. We don't give it to ourselves. And that way, what? We delight the heart of God. And God delights us. Blessed are they who hunger after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So all of us, all of the people at the Albany Vegan Network Expo, all of us, who are trying to help the animals. We hunger and we thirst after righteousness. We will be fulfilled. Isn't that a nice one? What does agonic mean? A-G-O-N-I-C, agonic. It means in a straight line, no angles. So we'll go in a straight line with the flow of the universe and we won't angle it off to ourselves and we won't angle it off to something ugly will go in a straight line. Okay. The picketer had a sign that said, Time heals all wounds. And the picketer behind him had another sign that said, Time and a half heals them faster. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every way he faithful will remain. Be still, my soul. Thy best, thy heavenly friend, through thorny paths, leads to a joyful end. 